Hi Sag, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. So today, Sag, you guys got Starfish Spirit open to infinite possibilities. Number 59, making a 14, making a 5. So fives are about challenge and conflict. Then you also have another five here. So there's something, there's some upheaval, there's something going on, right? And it's not necessarily a comfortable energy. And what I'm getting with the moon, it's a lot to do with your subconscious. So I feel like your subconscious is trying to tell you something with the book. They're like, your subconscious is maybe even opening up a little bit. Maybe you're meditating or doing something to help you awaken in some sort of way. But your subconscious is speaking to you and I think it's making you feel a little uncomfortable. I think the fives are you, right? Because it's always good to get information from your subconscious. I feel like it's a part of you. But I feel like you, you possibly might not like that because maybe you're not really on the path of what your subconscious wants, right? Like, let's just say you, your subconscious is telling you, you know, I don't know, something, and you're doing the exact opposite. That would be a very uncomfortable feeling, and that's where I'm getting with this five. I feel like your subconscious is going in one direction, telling you something, and you're kind of ignoring it because your life is headed in a different direction. So you're opposing, right, the subconscious, and the subconscious is parts of you, parts of, like, your you know it's part it's a part of you it's a it's something that's trying to like tell you something and you're supposed to be listening to it so i don't know what it, this is on like where wh in what aspect of your life this is going to affect right it could be career it could be love it's, it's most likely love but it could also be just like lifestyle right but but another thing i'm getting with the subconscious is that I think it's, I mean, it's a gift, right? To have all these aspects of ourselves to be able to also get into contact with that aspect. And I think that you're struggling right now with it because again, it's not aligned. You're not aligned with what you want. You're not aligned. What you want and what you're doing are too, are like not aligned. That's what I'm getting with this. That's why the five is here. Um, and it's actually supposed to shift you in a new direction. And then you have a 10 here. Yeah. So let's see what this is about. Sag. So Sag, I see what's going on here. I see that what you're, what the knowledge is, you have the knowledge card with the book, right? So this is what they're trying to tell you. Your subconscious is trying to tell you something about love, right? There's something here about love. Um, and I think what it is, I've been getting this a lot for Sag, like week after week. It's that you, Sag, I think you want to pursue a relationship of how, like a, a higher commitment with someone right and I don't care like if you've been in relationships since you know you have been in relationships and you're like well I have actually been in relationships I don't think they've been relationships where you've opened up you know what I mean it's like you might have been in relationships but there's nothing like what you you know you're not actually letting yourself out there you know you're not like letting yourself be shown in that sense where your heart is kind of exposed you've been keeping a wall up even if you have been in relationships you've been keeping a wall up you have this card the five of swords in reverse so you haven't been your authentic self in love so again it doesn't even matter if you have been with other people and if you have been like sleeping around with people or you've been kind of trying to date other people i don't feel like you've actually been giving it a real shot because i feel like people are tending to notice that you're kind of hollow when it comes to love like you're not necessarily giving people a lot and I think people can sense that and that's why relationships not, aren't really working out for you and what what was the cause of all of this uh it was betrayal right it was betrayal with the ten of swords so I see why you're so guarded and I see why you tend to shy away from love that's what I'm getting like you're you're running away from it and even if you try to attempt it you're not really there um, you're not really giving 100%. Do you know what I'm saying? You're not really giving anybody anything to hold on to. And you kind of prefer it that way 
because it avoids, again, you don't want to be betrayed ever again. But what I'm getting with this Sag is that your higher self is telling you something and you know what it is because the moon's in reverse. So you know what your higher self is trying to say, but you're ignoring it, right? And your higher self, your subconscious or, you know, whatever you want to call it, they're trying to guide you back to like your own heart, right? Because you can't have a loving relationship if you're not, you know, giving your heart away, right? Um, in love, it takes two. And I feel like you're just not about it. And even if you want to have intimacy with someone and you want to be close to someone, you're still not giving them the same thing that they give you in return. And this is why you find yourself with like people who are kind of running away. I mean, people might not be running away, but they should be, <laughs> right? Because you're not really offering these people anything. And that's what I'm getting with the Sag. I think that it's time to open up. You have five, five here. So again, you're still in conflict. Five, 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 five. You have four fives out here. Yeah, you're, you're still in conflict and you know what would solve it. You know what I mean? You know what would solve it. You know that you would want to like build again some sort of relationship with somebody. And you have 10, 10, 10 here. So yeah, they're trying to tell you that you have the choice. You have the choice right now for making your life what you want it to be. And yes, it is unfortunate that in love sometimes it doesn't work out with people. And sometimes we get betrayed and sometimes things don't work out. And, you know, I get that. But the only way to have what you want in life, which is I feel like you want this ten of cups, right? You want it. You want to build towards that. But what's stopping you from building, like first to get, to start to get to this ten of cups, you have to get to the three of pentacles, right? The ten is at the end. You have to get to the three first. And the three of pentacles is all about kind of sharing your life with somebody, right? Collaborating with another person, setting up a, st a solid foundation with another person. And that's something that you want to do. And I feel like, again, you have another 10 of swords here. That's, that's the only way that this is going to be possible. The only way to get what you want, Sag, is to be vulnerable. And it is to be intimate. And it is to give the other person the same thing that they're giving you. So if someone's opening up to you, you have to open up back to them. I mean, again, I feel like a lot of you are saying, well, I've been in relationships um, and they haven't been bad. You know, like this kind of works for me. It doesn't work. You can't ever get to this 10 if you're kind of shying away from sh showing your true feelings and putting blocks up against people and reminiscing about the past. So again, maybe you have some more healing to do, but I feel like this isn't about healing. Again, we, we all have healing to do, but I feel like more this is more about having to take that step in the right direction, even when it makes you feel uncomfortable. That's what I'm getting with the self in reverse. With the self in reverse and the two of cups, it's like, even if it makes you feel uncomfortable, even if you feel like squeamish in your stomach and you're just like ah, i don't like this feeling that's the feeling that you need to go towards because that's the only way to kind of get this ten of cups right sharing your life with another being like exposing your yourself you know in a sense right like the only way you can get to the ten of cups again is with the three of pentacles i feel like you're not even there at the three of pentacles the three of pentacles is like starting to build a foundation with someone right but you can't start to build a foundation with someone if you're not opening up right you can build something with someone but it won't be strong right like a you can build a house on anything but will the house outstand time and like weather and shit like that probably not not unless it has a strong foundation and the only way for it to have a strong foundation is if you're going to be open to that uh communication and that love right so that's what i'm getting Saj. there's a lot that you hide from partners even if you have been in relationships and if you really want this ten of cups you're gonna have to open up and again, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to go heal for like another two years. I think a lot of time has already passed by since this betrayal and you're still here and you're still stuck here. So what I would say that, <laughs> sorry. So what I would say that you need to do is kind of just take the leap of faith, right? We, like, we don't have the fool out here, but I feel like you have to feel uncomfortable a little bit to get what you want here. It's not gonna be like this choice that you, you're about to make if it is towards love, um, it is about like starting new, right? And kind of letting the past go. And that's what I'm getting. Like if you, if you cross the portal, right? If you take a step onto the other side, 
you can have this marriage, you can have this relationship that you want, this intimacy that you want, but you have to be the person that's being intimate in return. I feel like someone here is very stoic and someone here is very, you know, they like they don't show their hand too much because again, they're free to. And I feel in love that just doesn't work, Sad. It just doesn't work like that. The weird thing here is I feel movement. With um, the Three of Wands here, like we have a lot of cards of movement. We have the Eight of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Hangman in reverse towards your wish fulfillment. So you're not, you have the Nine of Cups in reverse twice that you're not headed towards like wish fulfillment. And then you have a lot of movement. So I feel like one of, one of two things might be happening. One thing is like, again, I feel like it's what I was saying in the meditative session. You're moving very fast in the wrong direction. And this is going to have to be stopped because in reality, if you're headed in the wrong direction with the wrong person, it's not going to work out anyway, right? So that's what I'm getting. Some of you guys are headed like in the wrong direction. And with the moon here, your subconscious is kind of telling you that you are, right? Because what kind of partner is going to accept somebody who's like a, a broken shell? Do you know what I'm saying? Or an empty shell or someone who's not really giving anything, right? That's a little suspicious if you're with somebody who doesn't really care how you feel and doesn't really want to know how you feel and is kind of like okay let's be in a relationship but you're not giving me anything that's fine right that that to me is just sound like sounds off an alarm because if if you're in this closed space then either this person is giving you too much and this is kind of a relationship where you're giving nothing and this person's giving way too much or this person is getting things from somebody else <laughs> like if you're not giving this person anything they're going to get it from someone else so that's what i'm getting here like for some of you, you're headed in the wrong direction. There is movement here, but I feel like it might be in the wrong direction because we have the Nine of Cups in reverse twice. Yeah, and then look, we have the Tower. Oh my God, with the Seven of Swords and the Devil. Yeah, so for some of you, because of the way that you have closed off your heart, you're not listening to the sirens. And the sirens are telling you that maybe you are working with someone. I feel like someone here might be working with someone, honestly. And the the conflict that you feel is that you're not with the right person because again the only time that i can assume that someone is going to accept someone who's really broken and who's really like not giving and who's really closed off is one if they themselves are very broken right and they understand that energy but they want to work with you to try to like help you change that energy or someone that's that would be like best case scenario but another thing I'm getting is like you're working with someone who doesn't really care that you're broken and doesn't really care that you don't share because they might be getting <laughs> the love they need from another person. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's what I'm getting with this. And I think honestly, for some of you, that's exactly what's going on. Your subconscious is alerting you that, yeah, you've been closed off for a long time and you've been headed in the wrong direction for a really long time and now you've kind of gotten yourself into a predicament that you might not be able to get out of because I see you moving very fast in maybe the wrong direction and your subconscious is screaming at you that you're not headed in the right path. If you were headed in the right path, these nine of cups would be headed, they would be upright, right? This is about wish fulfillment. This is about happiness and you're not going in that direction. They're telling you you're headed in the wrong, you're headed in the wrong direction. And then you have the tower with the devil. This is a very bad combination. These three cards, the devil, the seven of swords, and the tower. It actually is like this, right? I mean, I like that the devil is in reverse, but the tower to me upright or in reverse is the same thing. Again, I feel like you want to avoid tower moments in your life. So you'd rather be with maybe this person who like doesn't call you out on shit. They, they'll work with you no matter what. Honestly, anybody who does not like call you out on your shit, that's such a red flag to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's such a red flag to me. Like if someone just sees like you're doing something and they don't care about it, that's a very big red flag, right? Like they see you being sneaky. Maybe they see you like not showing your hand. Maybe they, show you, they see you not like giving them a lot of emotion and they don't really care. It's either this person has someone else and that's the person that's giving them emotion or this person has ulterior motives, right? Like they're like, oh, I'll get with this person because it's very convenient for me. Well, I don't know why. I mean, you're coming up as the king of pentacles in reverse. You might, um, maybe a pentacles, like again, money is like an issue, a thing here. I'm just worried for you, Sag, for whoever this is, this reading, because it's like you're headed in the wrong direction 100%. 
your subconscious has been telling you that you should be moving in love but you're moving i think in fear so in moving in fear your head you're kind of with maybe somebody who is not necessarily good for you like that's for some of you some of you are single and you have a chance to kind of fix this situation with the choice card um and judgment right like you have a choice here to fix it but for others of you you're already headed down a path that if you don't turn back now this is going to be like a big mistake Yeah, and that, that makes sense here, why judgment is here with the Three of Cups. Because, like, again, for some of you, if you're already with somebody, you're not headed in the right direction with this person because judgment with the Three of Cups could be, like, somebody is with someone else. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, there is a third party here. There there could be someone else. That That is a possibility here. But you are you wouldn't know that. But, again, if you're not giving your partner enough, then why would your partner not seek comfort and love elsewhere? So then it just leads to the fact of like why they're with you. What are you giving this person? Maybe you have a lot of money, <laughs> you know, like you're very secure in that sense. But is this person going to just take everything you have? Possibly. With the king of pentacles in reverse, this is someone who might have lost a lot of money. Yeah. And the eight of wands in reverse could be someone like ghosting you. They got what they want and they're ghosting you. Honestly, this is, this is a very big warning, I think, like for somebody here that... Because you've kept your heart closed, because you have been like playing yourself a fool in a sense and you're just like, you know, this person doesn't mind that I don't really give them a lot of love and attention and energy. Um, they don't mind that I'm closed off. They don't mind that I'm like a shell. Uh, they do mind, but they don't care for a reason. <laughs> and if someone doesn't care, it's because they have some other motive. So for some of you, you ha you're not with anybody and you have the chance to correct this, right? With judgment and the choice. And for others of you, you're already headed down a very, very bad path with whoever it is that you are. You might be headed towards a higher level of commitment with somebody who, because they haven't cared about, you know, whether you've been okay, whether you've been healed, um, whether you're happy or not. It's not about that. It's just about security. Um, this person could have somebody else on the side. So, uh, Sag, this is like a warning, I feel, to you that... Your subconscious is trying to guide you in the right direction, but you haven't been listening to it because, again, you've been hurt and you've been betrayed and you just don't want to. But this is a chance to correct that. Yeah, I feel sad. Like, this is a really big chance, like, to correct the energy. So if you are in a relationship with someone, you can kind of get out of it at this point. You don't have to stay here. Yeah, this is what I'm getting, like... I'm like, who is who are you dealing with, right? And we have you working with unexpected income. So I feel like you're a very, you have a lot of money. Like, that's what I was getting. I was like, you might have a lot of money and you might be a person that is very wealthy and that's why you're, you know, someone was attracted to you, but this person is sneaky, right? And this person doesn't care about your wish fulfillment and this person doesn't care. So now you put yourself in a worse state because you were betrayed and you closed off your heart. So now you closed off your heart and you just let anybody in. You know what I mean? Your heart is kind of like a, Again, it can, it can help guide you, right? Because your heart feels. And if you feel, it, I feel like it's connected to your intuition. So your intuition and your subconscious, again, have been trying to tell you something. But if your heart has been closed off for such a long time, then how are you going to understand the messages coming in? So you have unexpected income and occupation. So this is, again, I feel like Sag, you're somebody who works very hard. You're someone who has a lot of things. You probably have a lot of money. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have despair, wealthy man, and poverty. Yeah, like someone's going to leave you. You're the wealthy man in poverty. The wealthy man to poverty means you're going to lose. Do you get what I'm saying? You're going from a wealthy person to poverty because you're not being careful. What does that mean? Like you could end up having a child with this person. This person takes like half of everything you have. You can, end, and you, you know, you're paying for this person's lifestyle for the rest of your life. Again, there's a, uh, this is a warning. That's why I'm saying this reading is a big warning. Um, this is very specific for somebody, but it just has to be said that somebody here, you know, because you've been hurt, you've been closing off your heart. And because of that, you've been closing yourself off to the knowledge that your intuition has been telling you and your subconscious. And now you're allowing anybody in and you're moving really quick in the wrong direction. And that's why I was getting in the meditative session. So you know how to fix the situation. I mean, obviously, if you're with somebody like this, you need to like break up with them. I mean, that's just the truth. They could be obviously with somebody else. 
And if that's not the case and you're single, then you're safe. All you have to do is assure, make sure that you're going to like open up your heart and open up your intuition because if you don't, um, it's very easy for you to get stuck in the wrong situation as somebody here has already gotten stuck or is about to get stuck. So you guys have Sappho, the poetess. I love every inch of my body and I love the woman in my life fiercely. All right, this is what I'm getting with Sappho. She's the poetess. So a lot of you guys, I feel like they're telling you to write. Um, maybe writing would help you to release that subconscious, right? Like to release what's within, to release what you're hiding, to release what's built up. That's one thing I'm getting. Another thing I'm getting for a lot of you guys is that Whoever it was that hurt you in your life, I feel like you had a lot of love for this person and I feel like you still love this person. And I feel that that's a relationship where you had like true love and that's why it hurt you so much. But at the end of the day, that's the type of relationships that we're looking for. And the one that it's, for some of you, if you're in a relationship, this is not what you're looking for. This is someone who's trying to like sneak around, right? With the devil, the tower and the seven of swords. So you guys have to be careful. Do you know what I'm saying? And maybe because they're coming up in reverse, you've already defeated this energy and you're moving forward. That's what I'm hoping for a lot of you that you saw through this. But for some of you who haven't, um, I think this is kind of telling you that you have to appreciate, even if that person hurt you, I feel like that was genuine love. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like real love, true love hurts, <laughs> right? Because if you don't really love somebody, then you don't really care if they're in or out of your life. Do you know what I'm saying? But you care so much about this person that I feel like they're trying to tell you like to acknowledge that love right and that's gonna and look the moon is literally behind this again yeah I feel like you have a lot of love for somebody and it doesn't matter like what happened between the two of you I, like you'll always have love for that person and that's okay I'd rather you like acknowledge the love you have for somebody in the past than um try to keep working out with somebody who like just honestly wants to take you for a fool so yeah and that's interesting because at the bottom of this deck, we did have the Fool. Yeah, look. We have the Seven of Swords, someone putting in work, and the Fool with the Three of Swords. It's like, again, somebody is trying to, like, hurt you at the end of the day. Like, they're putting in work, and they're acting, like, very innocent, but I feel like they really want to hurt you at the end of the day. Again, you have to turn on your heart again, Sag, because the only way your heart and your intuition and your subconscious are going to be able to see things like this is if you turn on your heart. So again, I think this is telling you to accept the fact that you have a lot of love for somebody, even if things didn't work out. That's what the type of love that you should be looking for in this life. Um, yeah, Sag, I'm sorry that this is like hard and heavy, but somebody needed to be warned. So yeah, guys, I love you. I hope this helps and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.